scroll online for longer than four seconds and you're gonna have about 18 influencers recommending you products that they're gonna get a commission off of. Today, I figured I'd just sit down with you guys and show you 20 products that I use multiple times a week, if not every single day that I actually recommend. And if you notice in my bio, there are no commission links. So they're just things that I feel like you should know are worth using. Let's get into it. Most of these things are going to be very affordable. So I wanted to keep this video from being strictly like a makeup favorites video. So I'm trying to incorporate multiple things that I use every single day. And I'm gonna tell you where I got them from and I'll try to pop up like how much it was and where you can find it if I don't get too lazy with my editing. If I do it, just know that I love you. Okay. So I just got out of the shower a little while ago and my hair is dry now, but let's start with some hair products that I have been using. And no, I'm not going to say, oh, it's this celebrity's line, this celebrity's line. No, 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 no. We're here for realistic product recommendations. So first of all, this is my shampoo I've been using. It is, I wish I could show you how empty this is. It's literally so empty. Um, this is the L'Oreal, I can't speak. This is the L'Oreal Paris L5 Color Vibrancy. This is item number one. And then I have also the conditioner. This one's less full because I do have another conditioner um, that I use sometimes, but also I just feel like I use more shampoo than conditioner, but I use both of these together a lot. This is my natural hair color, except for if you see like there's these little highlights. I got some highlights done about four months ago now for my wedding. That was three months ago. So that's the only thing that's in my hair, but I got these and I was like, oh, you know, they're color protecting. My cousins who like, and my aunt who are hairstylists uh, would probably be choking to see that this is what I'm using on my color treated hair, but it's worked fine for me. And I like the smell of it. I bought these at CVS and I actually, oh, they smell so good. Um, I actually got on them because I found a coupon. So um, these in particular, the L5 line, usually they will do like promotions at CVS. So if you use the CVS app, they'll do like buy to get an extra buck, which is basically like a, a gift card for CVS if you're not familiar. So sometimes it'll be like anything from buy to and get a $4 extra buck, or sometimes they'll have a $2 coupon and if you buy two, you get a $4 extra buck. And that's basically $4 that next time you can just use towards uh, a different CVS product. It does expire. So pay attention to when it expires, but yeah. Anyways, that's items number one and two. I'll try to put up on the screen what I paid for them at CVS without coupons. Cause I don't remember what I paid for these, but I know I had a fantastic deal. Ooh, do I want to keep with the hair theme or shower theme? I'll just keep with the hair theme. Okay. So next I have, this is item number three. This is the Garnier, Gar Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. I'm going to smell it. Oh, it smells so good. It's got keratin and argon oil. And this is what I have in my hair right now, actually. So literally what I just did before I blue dry, blue, blue dried, blue, blued, blued dry. I blued dried my hair. I use that shampoo and conditioner. And then I take a little bit of this, put it in my palm, run it through. I just feel like it helps my hair recover, especially during the summer when I'm swimming a lot. Um, and you know, the chlorine is just zapping your hair and the sun is zapping your hair and all of that stuff. Anyway, I got this also at CVS, also with a coupon. Um, I think this one I got like buy to get an extra buck or something. And I probably had a coupon also from the coupon lady or one of my girlies. Um, here on YouTube that do awesome coupon hauls at CVS. Um, shout out to them. Um, I'll try to put them in the description below if you guys are interested because they're amazing. And I would love it if they saw this video, honestly, that would be really cool because I love them. So item number four is my razor of choice. This is the Billy razor. Um, uh, it is awesome. I've had the little handle thing for probably, I don't even know how many years. 
because the handle is reusable, you know, and I've had it for forever and my mom has had a subscription and um, she used to pay for it and now I have to pay for my own razor heads, but the razor heads look like this and you get a couple a month and it is awesome. Um, I've tried to use other razors. I just feel like this one glides and slides great. I'm an aggressive shaver, so like I like to be able to like, you know, up and down with this thing and um, be able to shave my legs really quickly. And this, this does a fantastic job. So yeah, 100% recommend the Billy Razor. Okay, item number five, after I shave my legs, my legs will get itchy if I do not moisturize them. So we bring in item number five. This is the Dr. Teal. Uh, body lotion. <laughs> um, this is the citrus essential oils. I, again, let's give it a smell. I love it so much. Again, I just, I just did this. I just shaved and I just put this on my legs. I love the smell. Um, it says 24 hour moisture. I think that's accurate. Um, it's got cocoa butter, shea butter, and vitamin E and vitamin C in it. And I just feel like it's, pretty natural. The scent is not like one of those, like I don't like rose scents or like super floral, super chem like it doesn't smell chemically. It smells very natural with citrus smell to me. I'm a big fan of citrus smells. If you don't like citrus smells, they have a lavender one. Again, I'm not really big on florals, but if you like that, the lavender one is also good. I've used it. It's just not my favorite scent. Um, but like, it's like something my mom has and I just, I swear by this. Again, I got this at CVS also with a coupon, also stocked up and got two at a time because uh, I know that I love these and this is a lotion that I cannot live without and I'm gonna use this all up and I'm gonna use the next bottle up. So I went ahead and got two. Let's just keep going with our in order of doing a shower. So after a shower, I need to apply deodorant. This is my favorite deodorant right now. This is the Dove Vitamin Care raspberry and rose scent there are a lot of different scents i was using the stuff that had aluminum and all that in it but my husband was very concerned well he's my fiance at the time and so about six months ago i switched to this i just like that it's vitamins and it's aluminum free and i just think it has a very girly scent to it um with the raspberry and rose i know i just said i don't love florals but this i feel like is different because it has that raspberry to it it's got so the whole shtick is that it doesn't have aluminum baking soda or parabens and it's got vitamin b3 and e and that is how it gets rid of the smell also got it at cvs <laughs> i have a problem with shopping at cvs you guys but i love this product i love it so much and um it's a 72 hour deodorant i definitely don't I, it doesn't last that for me. It lasts about 12 hours for me um, just because it's not as strong because it is not an antiperspirant and it is not um, a super strong smell. So this is item number six and to go with it I have item number seven and this is the whole body deodorant by Dove. It smells like coconut and vanilla. Also not a huge coconut fan but I love this. If you're gonna get a total body deodorant, this one also. CVS. Okay, I realized I never got a face wash. Um, I use the Curology. This doesn't count as a number, but I do use the Curology wash still right now. If you saw my video about me coming off Curology, um, I am still using that face wash, so I didn't include it because I'm not 100% recommending that you gotta go that route, so it's not in this top 20 right now. But I do use that to wash my face, and after I wash my face, I am applying azelic acid um, this is the Peach Slices Redness Relief Azelic Acid. It's 10% Azelic Acid. I think this stuff is magical. It really helped me. I've had such bad acne and I feel like this helped cure my skin a lot more. It's definitely still not perfect because that's not realistic unless you're getting facials constantly and all of the things that celebrities get. This is amazing and I got it at Ulta. Something not at CVS. And this is my second bottle of this. So... Yes, recommend this if you struggle with acne. Um, don't put too much on your face because it can dry it out. So make sure that you're moisturizing afterwards. So this is item number eight. And then once you've used the azelic acid, you've got to moisturize. So this is item number nine. 
This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. It is fragrance free. It has hyaluronic acid and peptides. Um, I really like that this is scent free. Um, you can see, I don't know how well you can see that, but it is like gone. Like there's like nothing left in here. I am about to have to buy a new one. I haven't bought a new one yet, but I will. And I got this from Ulta. You can find it elsewhere. All these products you can find in multiple places. I'm just telling you where I got them from. So item number nine. The next two items are also skincare items. So this is item number 10. It's the e.l.f. Sun Touchable Woe Glow SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Sun Protection and Makeup Primer. I think I got this at Walmart? Again, sell it multiple places. I think I got this particular bottle at Walmart. Um, I love that it is colored. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it is colored. It's basically just SPF 30 that I think works really well for my skin. It's not super intense, it's not super heavy. This is like a good everyday makeup. I did wear this today actually um, for Frisbee. I went out and played Ultimate Frisbee for a couple of hours. I got sunburnt. I got sunburnt. I got sunburnt. I did not apply enough and I was in a rush. But if not, I it does work. In the areas where I actually got it, it works very well. Okay, that was user error as my husband would say. It's a skill issue. Okay, so that's item number 10, and item 11 goes with it. This is also e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. bronzing drops. I got this from the actual e.l.f. website. Wow. Because I could not wait to get my hands on it, and I love it so much. I mix a little bit of this. You know, it's like supposed to be a dupe for the elephant drops or whatever. Drunk elephant drops. And I just take a little bit of this. I, so I take some of this, put it in my hand, and then I do my little, you know, skin smoothie, put it in my hand, mix it up like this, paint it on my face, and today I did it unevenly, but yeah, anyway. So this one came from the actual Elf one, but again, you can get it at Ulta, Walmart, Target, probably CVS too. I always, always use these two together anytime that I'm gonna be in the sun. Okay, sorry, I don't know if you can tell, but I just had to take a brief intermission to eat dinner, but I'm back and I'm ready to hit you up with the rest of this list. All of these items on my list, I will say, are not like super duper bougie expensive items. This one, number 12, is probably the most expensive one that I bought, but I got it at TJ Maxx, so I did not pay full price for it. It is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. Um, this is the berry one. I got it, like I said, at TJ Maxx. I don't remember how much this usually retails for. I feel like it's like $30 or $25 or something like that. I'll pop it up on the screen. But I got it at TJ Maxx for $16.99, so um, I got it because I was wanting to get it for so long. Um, and I absolutely love it, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I'm actually really glad that I got it. I did mull it over. This is what it looks like, so cute. Um, time to smell it. it. Smells nice. It's not very overpowering. Um, you can see I've just, this is like a newer product for me, so I've only used about that much of it. And it comes with this, and then it comes with this little... Ugh, getting stuck to my gloss. This little scooper guy, so you just use that, scoop it in. And I apply this at night when I'm ready to go to bed, just trying to add some hydration back into my lips. I actually really like this product. Completely worth it. So that's item number 12. <laughs> oh my goodness. I should have totally done this item probably sooner in the list when I was still talking about skincare. Sorry. This is kind of still in the same vein. So I have this toner. This is the Neutrogena alcohol-free toner. Um, I just use like these type of little cotton round things. Um, I open it up. It's got a little dropper type thing. And I just kind of literally take this and I go doot, 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 doot. Um, and I wipe this all over my face um, before I do my makeup because it's supposed to help tone and refresh skin without stripping it of its nat natural moisture. I actually, side note, again, I know I'm obsessing over smell. I just, I kind of like the smell of it. It literally says it's fragrance free, so I don't know why I like the smell of it. Am I crazy? This is item number 13. I think we're officially done with all the skincare things. <laughs> item number 14, 
Again, trying to stay away from too much makeup, but I do have three items that are kind of in this category. So I've been wanting one of these like beauty blender holder thingies for a really long time. Guess where I got this? It's a cute little like microphone looking thing. Guess how much I paid for this? I got it at the $1.25 tree. It just holds my little beauty blender. I just think it's really cute. It's got this little suction thing and I just pop that. I can't do it on my hand. I pop this on my counter and it sits there. So that's item number 14. Item number 15. You guys, you know when beauty influencers do the thing and they're like, this changed my life. But this literally just changed my life. It's my obsession. I am obsessed. This is my one product. This is the product, okay? This is the one, the only. This one actually did change my life, okay? This is the e.l.f. Lash Extender Tubing Mascara, okay? Let me, let me just, let me paint you a picture, okay? I know you can probably relate. You've, you have a fantastic makeup day. Your lashes are full, they're glorious, okay? And then it's time to take it off and you just have raccoon eyes. This literally saved me from ever having that ever again. It tubes beautifully. I've tried some other tubing mascaras. I got this one at Target, side note, Target. This is my second tube. I will probably buy this for the rest of my life so long as they continue to make it. I had a brown one first. This one is actually a black. That's what the wand looks like. I really love it. It doesn't smudge. It's on there. It's on there. And I don't have any smearing when I get you like my face settles in when there's a little bit of grease maybe like. One eternity later. This mascara is everything. I use this like every day. I've gotten to a much better place with my skin right now than I've ever been before. So I've been going without a lot of makeup recently. And I've just like, this is it. Like I reach for this little puppy right here, pop that on. Sometimes I do like a liquid blush and like a brow gel and a lip. Um, this, this is my holy grail. If I can only have one makeup product, this is, this is it. Like this is it. I mean, because like, why would you pick anything other than mascara if you only have one makeup product? This is it. Okay. Three weeks later. So this is lucky number 15. Now, I should have probably saved that one for last, honestly, because it's probably my favorite item on this entire list, but we're gonna keep going. So on my lips right now, this little nice glossy look, I don't know if you can see it, it's very thick, and it is the e.l.f. Um, Glow Reviver Lip Oil. Mine started to get a little yucky looking. I kept it really nice for a long time. I've tried really hard to keep mine nice. I'm Now that it's getting lower, I don't know if you can see, it's like kind of like, more here-ish, here-ish on the line. Um, I'm kind of giving up a little bit on trying to keep it perfect because I was like trying to like not go anywhere but the lips, make sure my lips were cleaned off. I'm, I'm just, it's fine, it's all right. I will be repurchasing this. When I remove the thing, you see how like empty it is now because I've used so much of it, but it's very thick. If you use this, this is like my go-to, like if I'm just doing like mascara and a gloss, this is the gloss. It's not even a gloss, it's an oil. I really, really like this. I have every intention of repurchasing as soon as I can get nothing left out of this bottle because under consumption core. That's item number 16. Item number 17 is another one. We have to smell it. <laughs> it is this little puppy right here, perfect for the summer. It is the Australian Gold Instant Bronzer. Um, Non-greasy, cruelty-free. This is the spray gel sunscreen, SPF 30, water resistant for up to 80 minutes, okay? Let me, let me tell you, I went on a lake trip with um, like a best friend of mine and she had this and I smelled it and I fell in love. It is. I wish I could have this as a perfume that I wear. There's a little lock, so it's locked right now so I don't spray it but it's a little pump and I like to take it and like spray it on myself and just rub it in. Um, I love this for um, trying to get, a, like I'm wearing SPF, but also it's like, like to get that, you know, that little bit of a glowy tan look. It's not like a no, no sun tan or something like that. Um, you're supposed to use it basically like a sunscreen. I would not recommend using it on your face. I just think you need something 
stronger for your face uh, because we don't want aging lines. We don't want overexposure on the face. So I don't recommend using it on the face, but everywhere else, Australian gold, please just hear me out. Just uh, skip forward, I guess, if you're not them. Listen to me, Australian gold, make this scent into a perfume and make me your spokesperson because I will rep you to high heaven because I love this smell so, so much. Okay, okay, getting off my soapbox. That is item number 17. Number 18, let's get an item from Costco. These are the, what is this? Kunal, Kunal? Is that how you say that? Onal? What is that? I don't know. This is what the bottle looks like. It is from Costco. Their extra strength magnesium citrate gummies promotes nerve, bone, and muscle health. You get 150 gummies in here. It's a dietary supplement. Now listen. So I have a friend who uses a lot of magnesium, right? And she was like, you should use it. And my mom tells me this is something that our bodies naturally need more of. Like most people have a magnesium deficiency. My friend tells me that this is not good because it has sugar, okay? Um, two gummies of this do in fact include three grams of added sugar, okay? Now, that being said, I thought to myself, because she was like, you get the powder, it's not sugar, you add it to water, you do it. That is more of a hassle to me, and I was like, well, if I do that, I can do that, right? And it'll be healthier for me. But if I get the one with the sugar, I will actually use it. And so I eat one to two of these. Two is technically what you're supposed to have, but I eat one to two of these. You can see there's like hardly anything left in there. Um, this is my second bottle of this. And again, this is a Costco bottle. Like you see how big this is next to my head. So if you wanna take magnesium and you just don't see yourself going the healthier route, getting the powder, putting it in water, if you're like me and you're lazy, this is the way to go. Costco magnesium gummies. So that is item number 18. <laughs> We're gonna take it home with two other scents because this has been apparently a major video of me just smelling all of my favorite things. I'm so sorry. Item number 19 is from Bath and Body Works. I have had this spray. It's like a, you know, just like a body spray. Um, this is the strawberry soda. Um, it has fragrance notes of fresh strawberries, bubbly seltzer, and crushed ice. This thing, oh, if you like Strawberry Fanta, you will love this, okay? I love it. I like to spritz it around the room sometimes. My husband just came in earlier. He was like, why does it smell so nice in here? And I was like, because I just sprayed some of this because I was, I was cleaning and I was like, it should smell nice because I cleaned. I just think it adds a little something extra, don't you? I don't know if I'll be able to actually find this. I don't know if they even sell this anymore because I've literally had this for two years. Like you see how much is left in there? Like, and I use it, I feel like I use a lot of it, but I, and I use this a lot. I use it a lot. How is, quite frankly, I have no idea how that much product is even left in this thing. It's a gift that keeps on giving, I guess. I don't know. That's item number 19 is this body spray. And finally, item number 20 is this perfume. This is the Kimberly's Tropical Pineapple. You know where I got this from? Hmm? Does it look familiar to anybody? Have you ever been into a Five Below before? As I have, and that's where I found this. This is a $5 perfume. Um, I really like the smell of it. I am not a perfume girly. Now I know I just said, like I just sat here and smelled 20 things. 20 things almost, not every single thing. But I just smelled a lot of the 20 things. I am a scent person, but I am not a perfume person. I don't like a lot of perfumes. Like it took me a long time. My husband and I searched high and low to find a cologne of his that didn't drive me up the wall because I don't like a lot of perfumes. I like fruit notes and I like, well I guess citrus is a fruit. I like citrus, I like fruity notes that are light and sweet. I don't like flowery type, like any, I don't like floral or musky type smells. So this is doesn't smell just like a pineapple. Like the other one smells just like strawberry soda. So this one though, it smells like a perfume. Um, it might seem a little bit little kiddish to some people, I will say that, but I think it's very playful and I don't know how to show you how much is in here. I think it's about 
this much and I've had this for forever. Like I think I got this when my husband and I started dating. <laughs> like a little bit into our date and we will in November, so at the time of filming this, it's September. In November, we will have been together for four years. So yeah, this thing also just keeps on going. It's really, it's, it's hanging in there. And I will never run out because I have extras. Because when I found that I liked this, I literally went and bought like three or four bottles um, of this. Actually, this might be my second bottle. Don't quote me on that. But again, for $5 for me to have the perf for me to have found the perfume that I like, like thank you, Five Below. I appreciate you so much. <sighs> okay. I am tired. That was a lot of talking. If you stayed to the end of this video, thank you so much for listening. I love you so much. You're awesome. <laughs> First of all. Second of all, Again, I am not making any money by you buying any of these things. You will find no affiliate links, no links to anything. You got to find these on your own. Sorry, I'm not linking them below because I'm not getting a commission. I just wanted you to know these are things that I really like. I think are worth the money and that are not honestly a whole ton of money. Drop a comment below if you use any of these products now or if you start using any of them because of me, I will feel so honored. Just in general, if you made it to the end of this video, comment a nose emoji since I just smell a lot of things and make everyone who didn't watch the end very confused. <sighs> Bye. Also, can you just hang on, have a moment for my sweatshirt? Like speaking of something that I wear all of the time, like bluey, bandits, chili. Turn the camera on.